should actually conclude this video. So we're cruise guys, we are going on a cruise. We're going on a cruise. Yeah. 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 I'm just doing this room tour. I'm hoping it's going to give me some energy. Enter. This is the luggage compartment. Life jackets are over there. And then some more sections with another life jacket. And then you turn around. I'm still facing the bed. That time, okay, you know what? I went after. So the bathroom. The bathroom has a handle. Bathroom. Oh. Those are hand towels, okay. Bathroom. Me over there. This one is coming from far. It's the, the cubicle toilet and then the shower. It is the smallest shower I have ever seen. And the shower, it smells like bleach here. What is in here? I don't know. It's just one toilet paper. I don't know what that is now. Okay. And then you get out. There's this thing that's been making a noise. In fact, let me switch it off. Let's switch it off. I can't, I can't be listening to the same thing. Anyway, resuming the room tour. Our bed. We haven't received our actual luggage yet. So this is our bed. Oh, these are probably the bath towels or beach towels. And then what else do we have here? We have drinking things, ice bucket, expensive things. Oh, this is probably to order. Oh, mini bar, but we don't have the key. Okay, and that's about it. It's a mirror, that's me. There's a full-sized mirror as well. This is a bed. If you open this up, it becomes a bunk bed. So does that one. And can I just show a face? Guys, when we booked, so when I'm frustrated, excitement is gone. And I'll explain the reasons to the excitement. So when we booked, we booked thinking that we will be able to see the outside. We are in the middle. We cannot see the outside. Let me check if it's our luggage. I was hoping it's ours. <laughs> okay, no luggage. Um, so we had booked thinking that we'll be on an outside cabin. We are not on an outside cabin. We are an inside cabin. So that is why everything is just enclosed and it's just mirror, mirror on the wall everywhere. But you know what? It's fine. We are set to leave in about nine minutes. I am as hungry as a person can be. I know this is probably something that you didn't want to see because all you wanted to see is the MEC cruise. I will take you on that. I just wanted to vent for a minute. Yeah, I'm just here trying to charge my router while we still have internet access so that I can try and ensure that I work through changing the flights of my sister-in-law because she wasn't able to fly with us.
Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you. It's unfortunate it will only be two of us. It's this one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, but it's a good starter size. This is a, this is a starter I'm having. Poland is having the same, so I ordered extra bread. I have it with balsamic and vinegar. That line there, the cold line, that's not even where it was. How's the starter? It's a band it should be a cold starter. Operation it one so small. Two minutes in May. Are we serious? It's just that it's a lot of money eat it. Just as we were having a starter, we were leaving the door. That's where we came from, right there. Right behind that is a mark. We're leaving the court now. I think, it I think I'll have to go to the dock outside to just see. And this is how the restaurant looks. Let's go to that. This is like the table seating. Nice. It's actually a very reasonably sized meal. These are the meals we should be having. And then some salmon and I love it, yeah. But we're having the same. How's the meal? No oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. What's on this bona? I guess you know what's it? What's on this bona? So far, two out of ten. Month. This is my dessert. My dessert. I'm having a three of ice creams. Orlando helped himself again, as he always does. So it's a little bit of a Sent the baby in my mind. This is the baby in my mind. Abi, don't go away, sir. This is like a coffee one, one. It tastes so good. Oh. Oh. We've just come back to our cabin to change and wear something that I could possibly swim in. I'm wearing very oh <laughs> forgetting this thing is moving. I'm wearing very short shorts. Very short shorts and then I'm wearing this shirt as sort of a cover up. It's my life. So I just wanna check if I can still see our passports. I don't even know where this lady stamped. I believe in DCT. 
I believe in DCT. So I'm gonna take that. Then I'm gonna try and smell fresh. Guys, we woke up late for breakfast because we know there's always food here. We're thinking, ah, there's always food here, we'll be fine. Get there, there's nothing. 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 Also, I believe in these click swipes. These click swipes. I don't like using um what's this? Public toilet toilet paper when I go to the loo. Especially if I go and I urinate. So I just always want to ensure that I use something that's not gonna leave access product there. So I can clean it up. And I like that these ones are fragrance free. Oh, it was upside down. I think these ones are fragrance free. They're aloe vera, what what. But they work. It's just one single use wipe. And yeah, well, guys, I care about the environment, but at the same time, I also care about myself. So I use what works. But I just need to remember not to throw this because there's no bin here. So I just need to remember throw them outside in the outside compartment. Pool ready. Pool ready. <coughs> Go on, get your phone here. Go on. Okay, let's go to Mr. M. We are in the middle of the sea, but at the same time, Springbok is actually not too far from here. Um, when we check on Google Maps, I'm gonna try and check it now and then see how it is. Oh, Mr. M, I oh, was sitting behind this thing. Oh, it's M90, guys. Oh, it's M90, guys. In the middle of the sea. downstairs the whole situation downstairs so I went back to change um, and sort of look which way ready
my classes. So take me in your arms. Cheers, guys. freshened up coming from the pool i'm headed out to dinner now it's 17 minutes into my dinner time let's go Tells you exactly where what is. So, let's try and go down. I left. I saw Benzin. I walked all the way. You get up. Yeah. Table setting looks different today. It's whiter. Chicken done. Oh, I got it. No chicken. And that's when you don't have to eat polenta and then some fish. This is fish cut. Mm. Mm. I'm having rice pudding. Injan. Rice in a pudding. I know. I know. I know. I know. I Sana, not me winning the next day. Not me losing my excess card. Wow. Morning. We are now in Valves Bay. Are waiting to get off actually, but we are waiting for the queue to clear so that we can be able to get off. It's Thursday, the fifth of Jan. Um, what's the time? Eleven or eight. And we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. And that time we were waiting far away from reception. We are on the eighth floor. The reception is on the fifth floor. So we'll start to head down now. Just trying to charge my phone and power bank. Do I charge a slow suddenly? Power output up. 220 volts. Yeah, it's very slow. But anyway, it's a Thursday. We are headed out to. We're gonna go out. Wanted to wear a pair of shorts. I know short to short, low chin. I think I'm gonna wear that. Number one question. No short to chin, okay? Is that fine? I'm gonna wear a pair of shorts now. I'm still wearing jeans. I wear a pair of shorts and then look like I'm on a coastal area. Just landed in Namibia. Uh, just landed in Namibia. Getting hydrated. Yeah. Yeah. 
Flying away, so I can't even take a video properly. But we're back, coming back from land. Last dinner. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, our last night here, and guys, I'm not vlogging here, I'm just not vlogging. The mood to vlog is not there. <sighs> this cruise is delayed. So we're initially supposed to have been arriving in Cape Town probably 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll arrive tomorrow evening at... This thing dead. Oh. We'll arrive tomorrow evening at 5 p.m. Fortunately for us, our flight leaves Sunday. So... Yeah. But guys, you are uh, uh, guys. Nah, I'm good. What is this now? I'm good. Decided to leave my husband behind. And I can... Just come and rest. And I'm at... I think there's a pajama party happening somewhere. But... Nah. I'm good. And then yesterday, when we... When we were led... In Namibia, I felt like something that reminds me of home. Firstly, I wanted water, so I bought a quale water. I finished that water in one go because I wanted water that tastes like water I prefer and not some Nestle water. Honestly, cannot stand the Nestle water. The sparkling one, yes, better. So I bought these because I didn't, I don't, this past December I didn't have a lot of it, so I bought these trays assorted. I have been dimpling on them all on my own. I finished the wafer. Okay, I can't show you. I finished the wafer. Still have these. I don't really like the shortbread. 
So my preference is the wafer, which is the pink one, and the ginger. So I'm going to have this, what is this one? Strawberry whirl. I have, oh, and also guys, we paid... <laughs> 175 dollars for Wi-Fi. 175 dollars for Wi-Fi. I don't even pay that much. I got my money. 175 times 17. Point eight. It's like six months eight months worth of internet because i pay about four i think i pay 500 per month for uncapped 10 big line mm. can't wait to get back to south africa mm. Hi guys, this is Future for you here editing. But I just thought I should actually conclude this video um, with just my actual experience. Would I do it? Three out of five, maybe. But okay, let me actually just give my opinionated tips on this. Um, so if you want to do the MSC um, cruise, the Namibia one, or any one for that matter, I think it's best if you try and follow the MSC cruise pages so that one, you know the type of cruise it is. Because we thought, okay, it's just going to be a fun cruise. There's no specific theme to it. Gandhi, it was a jazz cruise. So it was more of a jazz festival. So like the, the people who are on the cruise the same in interest at heart they knew that they're going to get jazz performances they sort of had an idea of the theme i mean it's like an entire community um, booking together and yeah they even knew who was going to perform on the trip so that's that so i'd highly suggest that you ensure that you read up and you you check what type of cruise it is because we were on MSE Symphonia. Um, it's a bit of an old one, but I mean, it's fine. Um, it doesn't have to be very modern, um, but that's not something that makes me not like it. But um, I think it's best to just book through MSC. Um, and then I'd, I'd advise you, please book a balcony seated or um, much bigger cabin than what we booked we booked through a third party so let's have a flight center so yeah the lady didn't do exactly what we wanted but that's fine it's a story for another day MSC check the type of cruise ship that you're gonna be using that you're gonna be um, embarking on try and check more or less around the dates as well like what type of activities would happen if you are able to maybe check previous um, people that have been on the cruise in different years i know youtube usually does like people usually do post on youtube like i am doing right now um how the experience was and everything but also try and check out their social media pages so that you have an idea of the type of um people that are going to be on the cruise um i think the sooner you book the better because i know you can get a good discounted prices they had shows like in the evenings like there was comedy there was movies there was a lot of like um theater performances <laughs> Um, there was even like themed nights like evening wear 
um, gala type of dress wear, pajama, but I'm not sure if it will follow the same theme with regards to um, performances and themed wear, um, like for any other one. If you want to explore Namibia, maybe try and book a trip with the day trip um, as you booked. So if you are able to book as you're booking your trip, do that. But at the same time, when you embark on the on the cruise, there'll be the people that will tell you about the day cruises. If you're if you have a liking for it, do it. It's a bit pricey. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a bit pricey. It's like 150 um, 150 dollars because everything is in dollars. 150 dollars per person depending and also on the type of activity that you will do once you get to Namibia. Let's go back a bit. Firstly, the currency that's used on the cruise is dollars. There's different drinks packages. You can get like a water only package. It's like $60 or 30 something dollars and 30 something dollars. Um, drinks and water um, and ice cream. Um, vouchers like you buy in like a booklet voucher but it also depends if you had bought it prior to embarking on the ship then um, you'll get it when you embark on the ship but if you just get it from one of those sales people once you embark on the ship it also has like a service fee that you're going to pay for i think it was about at a 10 percent or so so if it's 65 you'll probably likely pay like 60 well, I don't, I don't know, like actually it's not as a certain percentage, you probably like pay a, um, a service fee, probably you'd find that you pay now $70 instead of $68, but please do your research and ensure that you do pay for a package that works for you. So it's water, water and soft drinks and coke, and then it's wine only, it's about 10 bottles of wine, I think it was about $70. Um, and then it's all alcohol, which are about 14 I think it was about 14 coupons for that map for that for that um, so that was the one that we took it was about a bit bigger eventually you can't buy water with it but it's just best to just use water coupons for water because um, those are the things that you pay for once you embark food and everything is on the ship I mean you pay for it there's food from morning till evening you can um, and then what else okay wait let's first take um, speak on so currency we've covered that the coupons we've covered that and then seating plan if you are able to um, I think maybe try and um, take the second seating so what why I say that it allows you time to be able to watch maybe a performance like a seven o'clock performance and then go to your dinner seating and sit like you can do restaurants so if you don't want to do like like the planned seating the restaurant everything in the restaurant is the same as the buffet eating um but the only thing that you'll pay for again it's like your water if you want bottled water um and if you want soft drinks and wine and the likes you have to use your coupons alternatively you'll have to pay because some of the wines are not on the coupon um prices so that there's that and like for restaurants you can have like as you've seen probably on the first day of um, of the cruise is that you can have from entree up to um, dessert um, they can, like if you have a generous waiter you can even buy like two mains just so that you can try it out um, alternatively there's like buffet eating and they do cater for halal people there's buffet eating as well like there's pizza you can you can eat pizza the entire day like after eating breakfast you can just eat pizza the entire day um what else what else comes to mind that and okay so there's that so there's like different stations of eating but you will see it there's like a fruit breakfast like burger station throughout the day it sort of changes and the type of menu also changes throughout the course of the day so you won't likely eat the same thing unless you want to eat pizza all the time um what else on the Symphonia, there's two pools. They have the same depth, about two meters. I didn't swim in it because I am 1.5. And my swimming is not that advanced that I'd be so confident to get into a two meter pool. And there's like a jacuzzi vibe over there as well. 
um, like two parts of it on like the 11th deck so the waiters won't follow you around it's not like those European ones where you get a tag and then they'll just follow you around they'll know where you are so there's that so but like it's it's a lived experience it's just like in a restaurant like this the way that they serve you it's just like in a restaurant um you don't necessarily have to bring your own um poolside towels because if your towel gets wet you can always exchange the towel and get a cleaner fresher towel so you give them the wet one and you get a drier towel um what else would i want to say okay and then when it comes to traveling and traveling docks if you're traveling with the kid with a minor please ensure that you have an abridged certificate if if not if both parents are not traveling on the trip please get a letter of consent from the other parent it can be an affidavit um, and also maybe just another like written letter signed by the other parent so if you're a guy traveling um, without the mother then please ensure you get those things that's if you're traveling with a minor and even if you're a mother and you're traveling without the father which is quite a common thing in South Africa I mean um, please ensure you have those those things so that you'll be able to embark on the on the cruise yeah so yeah just make sure you have all those things and also if you are vaccinated ensure that you have your vaccination certificate I think it's still something that is try and abide by especially if you're going to Namibia and they require that in Namibia so you just want to ensure that you have all your docs lined up but if you don't then I think try and get um, what a test on the day of you leaving so that like you don't get a test that they say no it needs to be within 24 hours all those things but i don't know how that sort of works because i'm vaccinated and i have a vaccine certificate so i always just pr produce that so just to ensure that you print e everything that you need make sure you print everything and you have it handy um what else would i say take with i definitely say take like motion sickness pills so maybe try and drink them like two days prior to your trip so that your body gets used to it and it starts to work in your system. But I, I only started drinking it on the day. Like it wasn't as hectic. I usually have serious seasickness, but it wasn't as hectic because it wasn't too turbulent. I don't know. Is it turbulent when it's cruise? I don't know. But like it wasn't like the water was a bit calm. So it was allowing, I wasn't feeling too much um, seasick, but you can get those. It's just that I forgot. I think I threw them away. But you go to clicks just came the likes pharmacy over the counter you get sea sickness pills i think in a pack it's about 10. i used to just drink one a day um what else would you need um i don't know yeah i think i think what i've said is what i'd probably be careful of next time and ensure that i do take note of and i do do um obviously passport um depending on the type of cruise you are taking as well if you are going to an inter-country one then you need all these documents that i was talking about but if you're just going to george from cape town then i mean you don't need that you might just need the vaccine certificate um oh and a, another tip that i'd want to give you guys if you can please do um what is this when you get out of the ship there is a thing where it's forgot what it's called that you are able to board you disembark first get off the ship first when you get back on land so try like it's it's a service where you are able to just keep your luggage to yourself instead of allowing the the cruise staff to manage it for you so try and read up on that i forgot what the name of it i'll try and just put a name of it on the screen so that we get to know what it is um yeah otherwise it's like very it's also child friendly there's like a kids zone where you can just drop your kids like have breakfast with your kids and then if you want to chill by the poolside and you don't want to be minding your kids or they just play in the water park area you pick them you go fetch them at 11 and the great thing is that no one is gonna get lost because we are all in the cruise and guys you don't need wi-fi if you think you need wi-fi please just buy a 24 hour and then it's just that duration 
you don't want to be like us we paid 175 dollars please 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 i beg of you but get about now imadi guys i mean it's a trip spend your 3000 rand and have daytime all day every day because their pricing says per device per day very sneaky very sneaky msc so guys and there's no free wi-fi on board you are disconnected when you get onto that cruise disconnect you'll only have network just before you leave the just after you have left the port the cape town port if you are traveling from cape town um but if you think you need to connect to your family maybe via whatsapp by the 24 hour just update them traveling safe we're good and if there's a lot of you one person can buy the 24 hour and then the other one can hotspot from the other and then you're good because you don't need that amount of social media connection unless again you have left kids behind and then you just need to connect but you don't need it anyway yeah that's all i wanted to add um but please do read up um and ask as much information as you can from msc um or whoever you are booking with so that you ensure that you don't miss anything and you have everything because they will leave you okay they will leave you so just ensure that you've got everything and yeah that's all i wanted to add thank you very much for watching this video see you in my next video bye for now i'ma make a better way hey hey nigga catch a break